This is the McFarlane Omega Spawn figure. I happen to find this at Target. A lot, I know a lot of people have this on pre-order. So it kind of sucks when you pre-order something and you find it in the store. Not that it sucks, but you just wish that, you know, your pre-order would come before. You pre-order things because you want them before, hopefully before they are in the store. Because if I could find it in the store, what am I pre-ordering it for? It's my thought anyway. But yeah, this figure is a big old beast of a figure. Well, it's not, I'm not going to say a big figure, but it's a beast of a figure. It looks spiky. Well, it is spiky as shit, but it looks really intimidating. Like once you get up in there, it looks really intimidating. Now, if this was mine, I obviously would pop this off. I would just pop this off and put actual fur on here because this is really heavy. Like this is a really heavy thing on the figure. I really like the sculpt of this. McFarlane kills it with the sculpts. I always say that. He gets the sculpt right every time. It's just the articulation that's kind of where he falls short. This figure could have been like great, at least for me. The only thing I don't like is there's no bicep swivel he put the swivel in the elbow which is not a problem but i just wish he would have had the bicep swivel double jointed elbow the wrist look good though because he put something he's starting to do is sculpt the wrist and I, i'm noticing too with the bigger figures he's doing like this one and bane they have the regular style ankle joints which is awesome i'd rather these ankle joints over the uh, ball joints he used to use so i wish he would just do that for every figure but yeah, this is a good looking figure. Articulation on the on the head is pretty solid. The head literally would get all the way off the body. Didn't even know it did that. It's my first time popping it off. Try to pop it on. <sighs> the spikes though, the spikes, they hurt. Give me one second. There we go. But yeah, the head has a lot of expression. I like that. I like that the head can, you know, look all the way around and stuff like that. I was going to do a 360, but I don't want to pop it off again. Shoulders go up that high, which is which is, which is is pretty good considering there's a big-ass spike right here. Single joint on the elbow is going to bend that much. You got the wrist as a universal wrist. What I mean by that is it'll go up, down, left, and right, which is pretty solid. No extra hands. I wish it would have came with some fists or even some more open hands. Would have been nice. He's starting to get into that, too. See, that's what I was saying when I made my McFarlane video a while ago. The figures are getting better. He's putting more things in the package that we want. Some figures now come with extra hands. Some figures now are having these solid ankles. He's making steps forward, so I like that. And I'm starting to get into Spawn, too. So the Spawn stuff, as far as it goes, is really nice. I do like the Spawn stuff. One of the main reasons I didn't pre-order this figure is because I thought it was a solid torso. And I was pleasantly surprised that it's a two-part port tor it's a two-part torso. So there's an upper, a middle, and a lower. Is that two or yeah, two part, because that's a torso. So two part. So it does have pretty good range forward. And you can go in and modify it. Pretty good range forward, pretty good range going back. That's pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Because there was another figure I was looking at. I think it was Cygor, is that his name? The big guy with the he has like the pale torso, the blue boots and gold arms, I want to say. GameStop had it for like 20 bucks, but the torso was just one big piece. That's the reason I didn't like Bane. Torso is one big piece and it just was ugly to me. But I like that this one, it's it's split up like that because you can get way better range than a lot of other figures. So I like that. Is it coming off? No, it's not. He does the diaper thing and I don't like the diaper thing because like this one sags and it's everything. But I do like how this one's soft though. It's a lot softer than the other ones. He can kick that far forward. No thigh cut, but there is a little swivel in there, so you get a little little shimmy of a of a thigh. Double jointed knees, which is sick. I like that. That's about as far as you're gonna get. Ankles go down that far, which is really good. They go up that far, which is also good. And you have a really loose toe joint. All in all, though, I picked this up for a homie, but he said I can open and review it and stuff, so that's pretty sick. I like this figure. Hopefully I can find it again or maybe on sale. Maybe because it's 50 bucks. So 50 bucks on the store. It's pretty pricey. It's pretty pricey for what you get because it doesn't come with anything extra. So you're pretty much paying for the weight of the figure. And it is a heavy, heavy, heavy figure. Here's the back if you didn't see. If I didn't show that. <laughs> I would like real chains on here. But I think these are like sculpted in. They're pegged into the torso. So that's going to ruin it. 
Really good figure, though. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Did you buy this? Did you want it? Have you found it? And I'm out.